Good morning, everybody. I'm Michelle Fernandez. We'll be starting. We're just waiting for all the participants to enter. Um, we're joined by Kabita Gurung. Hi, Kabita. Morning. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Very well. Good, good. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Like Michelle said, we're just going to wait for a few more minutes so that nobody misses out. Hope you're all having a good Saturday. The weather's changed again. I know, exactly. And that's Priya. Hi, Priya. Morning. Morning, Priya. You're muted, Priya. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Michelle, and thank you, Kavita. And we've got Holly with us as well. Morning, Holly. And morning. Hannah. Morning, Holly. Morning, Hannah. Morning. Right, just one more minute, and then we're going to start. Hope everyone's got their coffee with them. I have my green tea. Oh, that's a good turnout. Mm. 38 participants yeah. at the moment. It's great. Mm -hmm. Really, we, we really appreciate everybody joining us on a Saturday morning, especially when the weather's so nice. Beautiful hiking weather for those that hike. <laughs> exactly. All right, I think that's, that's yeah. perfect, right? right? We're going to start now. So like I said, good morning, thank you. Uh, we really appreciate you joining us for our Discover Us webinar today. I am Michelle Fernandez, Head of School at Discovery Mind International Play Center and Kindergarten in Discovery Bay. Kabita and myself will go over who we are and what your child will experience in our play center and kindergarten, while Holly, the principal at DMPS, will cover our primary school, as well as will Hannah. We will also share information that we know is important for parents of young learners who will be starting school for the first time. After the webinar, you will receive an email with helpful answers to questions we often get asked. And now to continue, here is Kabita Gurung, Head of School at Discovery Mind International Play Center and Kindergarten in Tung Chung. Good morning, everybody. Michelle, thank you. Um, as Michelle said, I am the head of school at Discovery Mind Kindergarten in Chongqing. And just a little background about who we are. In 1996, we saw the opening of our founding campus in Discovery Bay to serve our community with a happy, safe and inclusive environment in which our young learners aged 50 months to six years old were encouraged to explore to their full potential. Our Chongqing campus opened in 2009 and our primary school soon after. Our focus was and remains until today to offer all round multidimensional teaching and learning to our school community and to prepare them for the multicultural environment in Hong Kong and worldwide. And now on to back to Michelle. Thank you. Our vision at Discovery Mind is to inspire every child to discover the world with a global mind. Our mission is to instill in our children a worldly perspective, to nurture creative minds, to provide a caring environment and for our graduates to leave school with a happy soul. These four pillars are put into practice by a whole school community. We accept rolling applications throughout the school year. In the play center, we have the accompanied adult toddler play group for children aged 15 months to two years and pre-nursery for two to three year old children. In kindergarten, children from three years to six year olds and in primary from six years to 11 years. More information is available on our website and which you, which you can find at discoverymind.edu.hk. And here's Kabita again with thanks. some... Sorry, thanks, Michelle. This is, this is live for you. Um, here at Discovery Mind, we follow the early years foundation stage. Teaching and learning in the early years is shaped through seven aspects that are interlinked. These are implemented through planned, purposeful play with a balance between adult guided and child initiated experiences. Communication, now this is an integral part of who we are. There are weekly phone calls from the teaching staff, in-person or online meetings, 
And should you ever have a query, you are free to contact us and we will get back to you. We also have our school app Eduing, which provides a host of features to keep you updated and, and informed. Um, virtual learning, as we, uh, as we all know and appreciate, um, this pandemic has really sort of changed the way we teach. Um, and when we went into our first school closure, we implemented Seesaw, um, which uh, we provided a comprehensive virtual learning with live meets, activity packs, and teaching videos. The live meets at the start of the 2021 school year helped tremendously with the transition of face-to-face -face classes. Um, a question we get asked very often is, what is the difference between the bilingual stream and the international stream? So here you can see a side-by-side -side comparison. The difference being that in our bilingual stream, it is dual language immersion, English and Mandarin. Um, and as we believe it is important for children to learn the foundation Chinese characters at this early stage, our K1 to K3 children will learn traditional Chinese in school. Another question we get asked is, we don't speak Mandarin at home, can my child join the bilingual stream? To support the children in the Chinese learning, we offer different resources, reading books and audio recordings where the family can all share in the learning. Mandarin Matrix, our online learning platform, is where our young learners can read online books, play games, which makes learning fun. Um, and a very popular question, how do I choose between the international or bilingual section? Now, this is a very personal choice pertaining to many different factors. Um, choosing whether to enroll your child in our international or bilingual section comes down to really what you want for your child and your child's needs. Both sections provide benefits that promote confident, creative, happy and caring individuals. But rest assured, um, as we know it can be very overwhelming, especially for first time parents, what we will do is we will, we pride ourselves on providing you with the help and guidance to allow your child to succeed, be it the bilingual or international screen you choose. And now I will hand you over to Michelle. Thanks, Kavita. I want to talk a little bit about who we are at Discovery Mind. Our children and staff at Discovery Mind, we consider ourselves to be creators, thinkers, and collaborators. A high quality early childhood program involves the collaboration of children, families, and educators in planning and developing meaningful learning experiences. Collaboration with children means consulting with children in ways that are developmentally appropriate and meaningful to the child. The following criteria are critical to genuine collaboration and partnerships. Mutual respect, trust, sensitivity to the other's perspective, ongoing open communication, and shared decision-making. Involving children in decision-making entails educators recognizing that all children, including babies and toddlers, have the right and ability to make choices about their daily experiences and activities. To effectively facilitate children's decision-making, the experiences, routines, and physical environment are arranged so that children have many real opportunities to make choices about what they do and when they will do it. Recognition and valuing of the unique contribution and strengths of the partnership, as an example, South China Morning Post and RTHK have awarded Discovery Mine International Organization the Operation Santa Claus 2020 Top School Fundraiser Award for the 13th consecutive year. This would not have been possible without all the staff, families, and students working in partnership to raise these funds that have helped so many. And now creators. Creativity can be expressed in many forms, such as how a child approaches a task or a new problem. Part of creativity is learning to innovate using creative imagination. At Discovery Mind, we, dis we define creativity as having the ability to make new things or think of new ideas. We believe that creative classrooms can really transform the way children learn and how they apply this learning in their real life. We aim to embrace and nurture creativity to build environments where students' imaginations are nourished and where failure provides the opportunity to learn. We believe that critical thinking is an essential life skill. We use critical thinking skills every day. They help us to make good decisions, understand the consequences of our actions, and solve problems. These incredibly important social skills are used in everything from putting together puzzles to negotiating your way around the classroom. Critical thinking helps us make good sound decisions. And now here's Kavita again. Thank you, Michelle. 
Discovery Mind provides a through train from our playgroup class right up until year six. A typical journey with us would begin in playgroup, followed by pre-nursery and moving on to K1, K2 and K3. After your child completes the academic year with us in K3, they move on to Foundation 1 at Discovery Mind Pr Primary School. And now moving on to the admission process, we welcome online applications through our website and we are very pleased to inform you that our application fee has been waived until the 15th of July 2021. Once your application has been submitted, we will invite you and your child to attend a meeting and assessment in person or online. Your child's application will be reviewed and you will be notified of any placement offer. To confirm the acceptance of the placement offer, payment of school fees and submission of certain documents are required. And once this, once this has been done, you will be sent details for your, first, your, your child's first day with us at Discovery Mind. We offer private and individual school tours, either in person or virtually. Please call or email us to book a school tour and our com campus contact details can be seen on the screen. And now I will hand you back over to Michelle. Thank you. We wanted to give you an idea of what your child would experience in school. So especially at our play center in kindergarten. So our dedicated teachers have prepared some activities for you to join in. So it's time to have your child join you and get ready to have some fun. Since we've been sitting down for a while now, let's start with Miss Yolanda and do some music and movement. Hi everyone, it's time for music and movement. Are you ready to join in the fun? Great, but before we begin, make sure you have enough space around you to move about. So we're going to listen to the song and follow along with the actions. We'll start by stamping our feet, then we'll knock our knees, we'll sway and shake and spin around and when the music stops, we're going to freeze. Don't move until the music starts again. Okay, here we go. You can stamp your feet. You can knock your knees. Beautiful scales. 
May I please just have one? No, of course not. Why doesn't anyone want to play with me? I have no friends. Hey, Octopus, do you know why no one wants to play with me? Hmm, give every fish one of your glittering scales. You might not be the most beautiful fish in the ocean, but you will be happy. What? You want me to give away my beautiful scales? How will that make me happy? Mm, it's up to you. Goodbye, Rainbow Fish. Hi, Rainbow Fish. Please don't be angry. I really like your shiny scales. May I just have one tiny scale, please? Hmm, okay. Just the smallest one, all right? Oh, thank you, thank you. You're so kind. Well, that wasn't so bad. May I please have a tiny scale too? Hmm, okay. Rainbow fish, rainbow fish, come play with us. I am the happiest fish with all of my friends. It feels so good to share. Taking some time to step away from remote learning can and will help your little learner and you stay creative, alert and engaged. Join us on a Brain Break Nature Walk where we'll see and where we'll discover. Let's go for a walk. A fast walk. A slow walk. A fast walk. A slow walk. It's quite windy. Let's put a jacket on. Look, I see a tree with lots of leaves. <gasps> Look at the plant on the ground. It has a flower and it is going this way and that way and all the way around. And it is going this way and that way and all the way around. There's an even more beautiful flower. I see a cat. The cat is stretching. One two and three Shh. I hear something ribbit 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 look it's a frog he looks here and there here and there I see a butterfly Fly like a butterfly through the sky. Stretch like a butterfly up so high. Fly like a butterfly through the sky. Stretch like a butterfly up so high. Namaste.
sit down with us today. Today we are going to stomp like a dinosaur, twirl like a ballerina, move like a robot, fly like an aeroplane and roar like a lion. to stomp like a dinosaur stomps. You've got to stomp like a dinosaur stomps. When you've got too much energy in you, you've got to stomp like a dinosaur stomps. Stomp, 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 stomp. You've got to twirl like a ballerina twirls. You've got to twirl You got to fly like an airplane flies. You got to fly like an airplane flies. When you've got too much energy in you, you've got to fly like an airplane flies.大家好,我是Luca,今天我们需要拿出沙锤,一起来Hockey-Fockey,让我们开始吧! We hope you and your child had fun joining in with the activities. I know we certainly did. Um, now I'd like to draw your attention to our QR codes for our website on the left of the screen and our admissions link on the right. We are also on Instagram and Facebook, so please like and share. Um, now what Michelle and I would like to do, seeing as we still have some time, 
is um, just go through a, a, a few of our most asked questions and share a few of our experiences. Okay, so, Michelle, you wanna take the first question? Sure. Um, what we're going to talk about, uh, especially with regards to separation anxiety, because this is something that we know parents um, are concerned, uh, concerned about, especially when your child is first starting school. Uh, what we believe and what we've known from experience is each child is unique and will experience separation anxiety in his or her own way. So what we actually do is we come up with an orient, uh, orientation schedule that we give you and share with you before your child starts. Uh, but again, it's not written in stone. Uh, we will work with you individually because each child is unique. And it's perfectly normal part of, um, you know, their first experiences in school and it's part of uh, childhood development. And we appreciate that it can be very unsettling for everybody. Uh, during this, these first few days that your child is with us, the class teacher will provide you with some strategies, you know, for example, bringing in a family photograph or a favorite toy, and that allows them to feel comfort. But at the same time that the teachers can use those, uh, you know, those, those uh, resources to make sure that the child is able to have something familiar with them. And this allows for a smooth transition into the new environment. Uh, for pre-nursery and K1, we also, like we said, follow an orientation schedule. Uh, and the orientation schedule starts off with a shorter time period in school. And this allows the children to build the stamina to get into a three-hour program, especially for the younger ones in pre-nursery and K1. Thanks, Michelle. And I just also wanted to, to add, especially for first-time parents experiencing school, it's okay to cry. Michelle and I have tissues on hand. We have experienced it time and time again. You know, it's okay. Come into the office. Um, we all become family, friends. We're all in this together. Come and have a cry. Come and have a cup of tea. It does get better. And I also really wanted to share one experience we had. You know, like Michelle said, it's all about our teamwork and how we do things together. Um, we had one child who actually suffered from selective mutism. Um, and, and this is very, it, it's a very real experience and something that we are really proud of um, and just goes to show how effective partnership is, parent and school. Um, this child, the minute he stepped into school, would just, he wouldn't speak. The minute he was outside, fluent, absolutely, you know, used all his words, his sentences. Um, and now we as teachers, we wonder how can we help the child? So. We sat down, we, we, we talked, communicated with the parents and we worked with the parents whereby a member of staff would meet um, down the road, meet the parent and child and walk to school together. Um, and what we saw happening was we'd walk to school together, there'd be flowing conversation and then it would stop again at the school, school door. Now, how did we eliminate this barrier of sort of outside environment into school? we opened the doors and the parents were fabulous. It meant that they had to start off to school a little bit earlier. It meant we had to go outside a little bit earlier, but it's that partnership that made it work. And one day what happened, we were laughing as we came in, he forgot that he'd come in through the school door and that was it. Um, so really, really goes to show you how we value working with the parents and, and how, effect how effective it is. Okay, so toilet training, very interesting. Um, when our little ones attend pre-nursery or K1, we will again work with the parents in partnership. And if your child shows an interest in going to the loo, either at school or at home, the communication is there. Um, and we will work together. We have scheduled times for toilet breaks during the class. But of course, if your child needs to go to the loo at any point during their time with us, they will be escorted by an auntie who will assist them. Okay. One other thing I'd like to add about toilet training is um, every child is different. And so we don't enforce any, you know, K1 age group, they have to be toilet trained. We will work with the child because some children are born later in the year, so they show readiness later. And that's something that, again, like Kabita said earlier, we work with parents on an individual basis. And because we've got the little potties and the little things in school, um, interest tends to show up in school a lot earlier than at home probably. And they want to copy their peers. So they will show an interest and the teachers will communicate that with parents. 
Okay, another question that we get asked is English the only language used in the international stream? Um, the international section uses English as the medium of instruction. And what we do is we introduce Mandarin twice weekly for 20 minutes at a time so that there is an introduction through fun activities such as songs, stories, etc. And what about how is technology used? Um, as we've seen in the past year with the pandemic, uh, we did have to uh, do a lot of virtual lessons. But what we do is with the very youngest ones, we use uh, Zoom, for example, as, an, as a meet and greet. So th therefore the children got a chance to see their teachers in the classroom and what the classroom environment looks like. So they became familiar with it even before they actually stepped into their new classrooms. Um, additionally, for the K2s and K3s who are older, we actually use the Zoom for either individual lessons, small group lessons, to introduce the topic um, and have discussions. Uh, whereas for, say, for example, um, uh, story time, that would be a recorded video that the parents can watch with the children as and when it's convenient. Because we find that, um, you know, giving the flexibility to, this, to the families is, is something that did help a lot of the families adjust to, especially moving from face-to-face uh, -face classes to online. And um, that was good feedback that we got. We also use Seesaw, uh, which is uh, an app that we, the teachers get to download individual lessons for the children, uh, practice assignments, for example, and the children are able to then send their work back and the teachers will respond and correct that work and give feedback as well. Um, ad additionally, uh, in the classrooms, we have smart boards that we use. Uh, interactive smart boards so the teachers may use it say for example for phonics which we use jolly phonics and uh, they will play games they will they will use that uh, those the resources basically the online resources to actually learn about uh, different things but also be able to have group discussions and interact with it so um, that's how we do it uh, for the younger age groups for the older age groups we also have uh, selected classroom laptop time and it, it's maximum at 20 minutes because we know that children need to be able to use this equipment, but at the same time, we don't want to overwhelm them. So very small groups and 20 minutes, around 20 minutes to use the laptops. Okay, Michelle, I think that sort of takes us up to the end of our kindergarten webinar. Um, we would like to thank you all for joining us on a Saturday. We hope you found the kindergarten um, section of the webinar informative. And Michelle and I ask if you have any further questions on specific campus timings and fees, please do email us or call us. So on a parting note, Michelle and myself, we'd like to thank you for joining us. And we're going to take a short break, after which Holly, our DMPS principal, will share information about the primary school with you. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, everybody. Um, welcome to the second part of the Discovery Mind uh, webinar for today. My name is Holly Siranakis, and I'm going to be presenting for uh, the primary school. Um, today, I will be joined by my vice principal, which is uh, Hannah Simpson, and she will be um, joining me on the presentation today. Um, and talking about our curriculum, as well as our um, additional learning needs um, support that we offer for our students. Okay, so I just want to say a big thank you to Discovery Mind uh, Kindergarten for sharing all of that information, which I hope you found useful. Um, I'm not sure however many uh, parents we have still with us, um, but all the details of these slides will be shared um, on our social media so that you are able to access them if you don't have the time uh, to listen to this this morning. Um, I would like to start though with a um, video that we are going, that we produced for our primary school and also our kindergarten that I think will give you a little insight into our school. Um, this will be followed by an introduction by me into our primary school. Um, as I said, Hannah Simpson, Vice Principal, will be talking to us um, about uh, the curriculum. And then I will finish by talking about admissions and also introduce you to um, somebody who's going to be very important for the new school year. Okay, let's get this video up and running. I hope it runs okay for you all. Here we go. Welcome to the Discovery Mind Group of Schools. 
We are a small primary school and kindergarten based right here in Hong Kong. Both of our campuses are on Lantau Island. Our largest campus is at Seaview Crescent in Tung Chung and serves not only the immediate area but beyond, with children coming from as far as Tung Mun by our school bus. Our second smaller campus is in Discovery Bay in the popular North Plaza area. The kindergarten can be found at the Marina Commercial Centre in the Peninsula Village. This campus is popular with residents of Discovery Bay who prefer a community school near to their home. Our play centre and kindergarten are for children aged from 15 months to 6 years. Both of these are fully licensed preschools. Our international curriculum for our K1 and K2 classes is based on the early years foundation stage framework from the UK. From K3, we use a school-based curriculum that follows the principles of the national curriculum of England and one that is relevant to the international community we serve. Our primary school is bright and colourful and designed to give the optimum learning environment for our students. The curriculum has been developed to incorporate the best from those around the world, including the English National Curriculum, the New Zealand Curriculum, and aspects of inquiry using a project-based learning model. We believe in the value of all subjects and ensure we give equal time to the creative arts and technology, as well as the core subjects. We are very proud of our school values of respect, responsibility and resilience. And these values underpin everything we do here at Discovery Mind Primary School. The students are exposed to these values through their curriculum, as well as through the modelling of correct behaviours around these values in their everyday interactions with staff and each other. Our Mandarin curriculum is very rigorous and every student has specialist teaching every day. In addition to daily lessons by our specialist Mandarin team, we regularly enter Mandarin speech competitions to showcase the abilities of our students. In our kindergarten, we offer the option of international or bilingual classes. Our bilingual classes are taught in English and Mandarin. Our international classes are taught in English, but they have Mandarin lessons two times a week with a native Mandarin teacher. We have a total of eight classrooms in Chung Chung and four classrooms in Discovery Bay, each capable of holding a maximum capacity of 22 students each. We have large communal spaces for assemblies, as well as a well-resourced library and access to a number of different technologies such as Chromebooks, iPads and coding in both campuses. This enables us to provide the most up-to-date teaching and learning experiences for our students. This has been particularly useful during the extended period of e-learning and has ensured we were able to continue to provide our curriculum to a high standard throughout the past year. We make full use of the community facilities offered to us and all within a short walk of our school, utilising the outdoor spaces available as well as the community playgrounds, football pitches, basketball courts and indoor facilities that are used for our bi-weekly PE lessons, as well as those all-important daily playtimes where the children can expel some energy and get some fresh air too. look forward to welcoming you and your child in the future. More information can be found on our website at discoverymind.edu.hk. Welcome to
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that film. Um, so welcome again to the webinar for today. Um, we are a small community school servicing Discovery Bay and Chung Chung. These communities are very unique to Hong Kong in that people tend to live in the immediate area um, and work in the immediate area as well. So of course there is minimal busing in and out of children. Um, it means that the community we are in is very strong and the presence of the school is vital in supporting the community that it serves. Discovery Mind prides itself on its values, one of its pillars being a worldly perspective. We have over 40 nationalities crossing five continents and are truly reflective of an international school. As our children's world is so much smaller than ours, um, it's easily accessible through actual and virtual interactions with other cultures. And so the importance of understanding the world, our differences and our impact in the world is a vital part of their development. As I believe the uh, uh, DMK heads did, did explain, um, the community aspect is so important and we foster partnerships between us and our parents through regular community events. Um, these can include uh, our weekly online newsletter, our DMPS News, which can be found on our social media and also through an open door policy. In addition to this and crucial to our school is our Friends of DMPS, our parent teacher group. Um, who meet regularly to support the different events within the school and look for opportunities for fundraising. So examples in the past um, and currently actually is our pre-loved uniform sales, organising our school, senior school disco and running uh, popular bake sales at our annual colour run. Previous events and um, Friends of DMPS support have resulted in us purchasing books for our library, a projector and screen for use at Tung Chung in our in-school assemblies, and also some lovely new benches for our, our outdoor area in DB. Our school is growing in number, but still maintains a very small student to teacher ratio, um, two to 22, so two adults in each class and a maximum of 22 students, which enables the individual needs of each child to be met and catered for. We believe in employing staff who have a passion for education and a growth mindset, those who are continually looking to improve themselves and the learning experiences of the children we have here. We expect our staff to be lifelong learners themselves and part of our professional learning community. We offer a strong professional development to support them and we understand the importance of ensuring our staff's well-being is being met too. As a community primary school, it is vital that we provide our parents with the options for the years beyond primary school. It's actually one of our, our most popular questions. Our school provides education up to year six, which is aged 11 years. After this, our children go on to a number of high schools in the local area and beyond, such as YMCA, um, Discovery Bay International School, school uh, Discovery College, Island School, Delia School of Canada, and the American International School. This year, we are pleased also to be able to say that we signed an agreement with Invictus School, and they will now allocate 10 guaranteed places to our year six students who are looking to move on to year seven. The top 10 skill factors uh, that the World Economic Forum announced they believe are needed to develop in students of today for the world of work tomorrow include those that we as a school consider to be key skills for our students to develop. As you can see, these include confidence, creativity, collaboration, critical thinking, which I know Discovery in Mind Kindergarten talked about, communication and being caring. Our education is future focused and we strongly believe in developing these key skills for developing 21st century learners. Opportunities to develop these skills exist across the curriculum as well as through our extracurricular activity. The school's mission statement, which you saw at the beginning, is to discover the world with a global mind. But this is underpinned by the values of respect, responsibility and resilience. So how does this look in our school setting? Well, these aren't just the behaviours that are carried out when asked or when in a classroom setting. We believe that these are attitudes that are intrinsic and demonstrated when you see students holding doors open for one another, 
or greeting visitors who come around our school. It might be picking up pencils that are on the floor and putting things away where they belong because they feel that the school belongs to them. It also is struggling with a maths question or a spelling, but not giving up and working through these at their own pace until they achieve the right answer. We value mistakes as it is only from these that we can truly learn. I would like to now hand over to Hannah Simpson, who's my vice principal, and she is responsible for curriculum and ALN. Over to you, Hannah. Thank you, Holly. Hello, everybody. Um, so for our curriculum, what I will be doing is I will quickly talk through more of the foundation phase, which is our, our younger students, as well as how that transfers into our senior students and up to year six. So as Holly mentioned earlier, our teaching model um, for our foundation stage um, as a focus is through more of a play-based learning and you would have seen a lot of that in the video as well. So learning through play is a pedagogical approach that we uh, find very, very important and a valued mode of learning. So this is where children explore, this is where children experiment, discover and solve problems in imaginative and playful ways. In our primary setting, the opportunities for play are intentionally sculpted by our curriculum where teachers design environments and fun activities which align with all of the expectations that they are needing to cover. This curriculum intention sees that students are engaging in language development far more frequently and we think this is so important especially given our cohort where we have over 65% of our students having English as an additional language. Now, in these foundation years, our play-based learning centers on four major pillars, um, in addition to our national uh, curriculum objectives. So the physical development of fine and gross motor skills, effective communication and social emotional language, as well as understanding how the work, world works around them. So you see here, the first two columns outline the fine and gross motor skills that our students develop. And we do this through uh, an incorporation of play. So our fine motor skills is building the foundations of our hand development and involving the use of refined little muscles to control all of our movements. This is fantastic for eventually creating writing. Then our gross motor development is important for more of a major body movement, walking, maintaining balance, coordination, reaching, grabbing, and this is more of our physical functions that are important for sports, play, and fitness. There is also intent with the opportunities students have to develop personal growth. This is through, but not limited to, our social connections and collaborations and group projects and where we intentionally ensure our children understand the aims that they are, are aiming towards. So for example, um, if there is a thing that they are doing, how they can become a character and how they're going to interact with one another and following the rules that have been developed within that game. And this also clearly, clearly, clearly links across many aspects of our curriculum and is preparing them for when they go through school. Now, understanding the world is more of um, a sometimes historical or geographical understanding where they are and how the world works. This is, as you can, I'm sure, put together a, a big link to our um, curriculum. So in the foundation curriculum and across the school, these are all of the subjects that we, we cover. The curriculum teachers use to construct learning opportunities is based in the English national curriculum, while also employing best practice linked from the primary years program, New Zealand and Australia as well. So that's what Holly spoke about a little bit earlier about our adaptations. So we focus on delivering curriculum through an inquiry driven pedagogy. And those are the two blue things in the middle. So in our younger years that like we just talked about is our play-based learning. And this overlaps perfectly into our year three to six who transfer this into project-based learning. Now, all of this is grounded in our curriculum and we use elements in our early years framework for the foundation classes with clarifications adapted from the curriculums around the world. So, for example, this is to suit our children need, like I spoke about earlier, for additional language learners, incorporating more speaking and listening opportunities, explicit language development, and having clear clarifications of what that would look like, 
Or another simple example would be little adaptations within history and geography, where instead of our students learning about the United Kingdom, they would be learning more on Hong Kong, China and Asia. Now, due to school closures, I also thought I would speak to you very quickly about what our curriculum looked like during our online learning. So we were in a space where from February last year, so it seems like a long, long time ago now, that we transferred uh, into full-time online learning. So we ensure all of our students have a Google domain um, and all of the login details for that. And this ensures access to Google Classrooms and the platforms that they um, use on a daily basis. Now, the reason for us to have these individual logins is that they will sustain these from year one right through to year six. And we use them on a daily basis now. Now, during the full school closures, we uh, have our teachers teach live for a minimum of four hours a day on our Zoom platform, similar to this. But we also ensure a balance between the screen activities where it is live teaching or where our children are having screen free activities, but they can still access their teacher if they need support. Uh, with all of these resources are accessible by our school, we provide everything for them. Our teachers are always contactable as well for any support that parents or students need, whether through email or um, as well as our Google platform, things like Google Hangouts, they can message the teacher to check during the online learning. Um, now onto our specialist session to this core curriculum and they have this each day. This includes our Mandarin, our music, our physical education as well as our well-being. Now our music curriculum is delivered uh, for two lessons 45 minutes per week while the initial lesson uh, focuses on more of a singing, experimenting with vocal range, learning a range of songs across genres and cultures, as well as the second section being more of an experimentation and creation of music using both traditional and non-traditional instruments. Uh, in physical education, our classes each go twice per week where students are wear their PE uniform, you can see them in the picture here, and appropriate footwear. The PE curriculum covers a range of sporting skills in order for our children to confidently progress playing a range of sports, not just the ones that they are very interested in, and creating transferable skills through each of these. Classes will cover small ball and large ball skills, athletics, gymnastics, dance, um, as well as bat and racket skills. And we, like uh, Holly mentioned in the video, the venues we use are really conveniently located to both of our campuses, including football pitches, basketball courts, badminton courts, a swimming pool and athletics pitches. In addition to the physical education program, DMPS is enrolled in the Hong Kong Sports Federation for those students selected to represent the school in Hong Kong wide events and other inter-school competitions. Then later a week, um, a cohort will come together to explore uh, emotions, self-care, personality traits and strategies where we can use um, to approach challenges. Then these are reinforced with class teachers uh, where they incorporate strategies such as circle time, reflection hours, journaling and goal setting to ensure we're exposing our children to the skills they need for the future. Now, a lot of our key questions that we have is particular to our Mandarin subject. So in a deeper dive into this Mandarin, we use the curriculum called the American Council on Teaching a Foreign Language Standard. Now, this uses an immersion language experience, which is a great transfer from our Discovery Mind kindergarten through a lot of immersion, which is fantastic for those children in the bilingual classrooms. Uh, within this program, we incorporate themes of communication, cultures, connections, comparisons, and communities in order for the language comprehension to have breadth and development, as well as it develops each year across the year groups. Um, here you can see the pedagogical um, or teaching focus within this curriculum. Uh, 
where our Mandarin teachers plan units within function and application, uh, an 80% immersion uh, into the language experience and engagement in mind in order for these lessons to be successful, purposeful, but also exciting for all of our students approaching a new language. So how this looks as a, um, as a day to day, in our normal setting, we will have our foundation stage attending the Mandarin specialist lessons four days per week for 45 minutes, where our junior and senior students, so years three to six, attend five days per week for the same amount of time. And this is due to the expectations and complexity of the language increasing. Now across both reading and writing, as well as with um, aligning to our secondary applications, our teachers uh, teach um, pinyin and character in the simplified form. However, the traditional characters are also um, available and put into place as needed, uh, especially with our native students. Then in order to ensure our differentiation between and ensuring targeted learning, we have three language levels. So the first is our native and near native, which ensures our, our students can be extended as they need to be, as well as then our international cohort being streamed into two further groups for those that have had experience with the language or to those who are just approaching it as a first time language. Okay, then we, uh, inclusion is an important aspect of education and underpins our philosophy at DMPS. We believe in offering an opportunity for all students to access learning and to support them within this journey. Um, as we find this very important, um, but also that we don't all quite move at the same pace within learning. So to accommodate uh, this, we divide our additional learning needs into English as an additional language uh, and those requiring literacy and numeracy support, as well as those needing strategies and guidance in their behaviours, uh, interactions, focus or uh, independence. Not sure if the slide is clicking over, but I'll keep going. Oh, there it goes. There we are. Now, within this definition, uh, is not only that students who struggle in these areas, but also those re registering in as more able and talented. And within that curriculum, we can make adaptations for that. Now we've spoken a little bit about how um, English as an additional language is, is significant in our school community. Um, we have a rich variety of cultures, which is amazing. Um, and we see this within our corridors on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, as of uh, Friday morning, we have over 65% uh, who have at least one, some have up to four additional languages uh, regularly spoken at home. Uh, as a teacher, this is, an incredible, is incredibly important to be aware of because for us, as we're planning our curriculum, we want to ensure that language exposure, the support that could be in place and techniques required to support our learners at all times. Then further to this, we have individual education plans. Now, what these do is they are a, a plan that we put in place in order to adapt and target areas of learning for those that have been flagged as requiring further curriculum support, interventions, or again, extension opportunities. So they will have a document that we share directly with families to ensure our communication is really clear. So here you can see that around 30% of our students are identified as having some form of additional learning need. And this is uh, spread across either behavior as communication, EAL and literacy or numeracy. We strongly believe that inclusion mentality enriches our school community and provides flexible learning opportunities for all of our students, rather than just those that needing the adaptation. Um, as well as creating a community of learners who are kind, empathetic and respectful to all as they understand that we all are different in different ways and have success in different ways. That I believe is all from me. So thank you so much. And if you have any questions, feel free to let us. Thank you, Hannah. Okay, um, so I know that was a lot of information, but um, there is a lot going on in our primary school. So we felt it was important to include everything there. So um, I would just like to share with you um, our admissions procedure. 
So if you are a current DMK parent, it's very, very easy. Everything is sent through to us here at DMPS and we carry out observations of the students and meet with their current teachers within their normal in-school time. Um, we also guarantee priority placements for DMK students. Um, for prospective students outside of the Discovery Mind group, you can apply through the link on this slide, which is also on our website. And we have the places at the moment available in almost all year groups across both campuses. Um, I would like to end today's webinar uh, for the Discovery Mind group today by introducing um, a very important person. And this is our new principal of Discovery Mind Primary School for the coming 2021-22 academic year, Miss Priya Kanthan. Hi Priya, are you there? Yes, I am. Thank you very much, Holly. And uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for the lovely webinar by the kindergarten um, heads, as well as from the information by Holly and Hannah. Um, I just would like to introduce myself and, um, you know, I'm, I'm super excited and looking forward to joining as principal of uh, Discovery Mind in August. I'd like to give you a little bit of information about uh, myself personally and professionally. So um, I'm married and I've got three adult children. The older two are working and my youngest is at university in HKUSD here in Hong Kong. My husband and I, we live in Tung Chung with our dog at the moment. Um, like most expats, we came to Hong Kong for two years and it's been 20. So obviously we love it very, very much. We love Hong Kong and particularly love living in Tung Chung. I play hockey for the Hong Kong Football Club and I'm a trained Indian classical dancer. So professionally, I started my teaching career in um, the UK. I taught various levels of primary school over 11 years. As a family, we traveled to Asia in 1998 with my husband's job. I was head of the Early Childhood Education Department at the American Embassy School in New Delhi. After three years, we moved to Malaysia where I was head of department for primary at Mon Kiara International School in Kuala Lumpur. We arrived in Hong Kong two years later where I started with HKIS and then with the ESF. I've been at Quarry Bay School ESF for 17 years now, of which 14 has been as year level head. In 2014, I did my master's from the University of Bristol. I'm excited and looking forward to taking on the role of principal for D Discovery Mind commencing in August and working with all these lovely ladies that we've seen over the webinar um, this morning. It will be my priority to ensure the students, <coughs> excuse me, have a well-balanced and happy all-round schooling experience. <coughs> Sorry. There will be a particular focus on providing a robust curriculum across the kindergartens and primary schools. I don't know what happened to my voice there. <coughs> <clears throat> okay, I'll just say that again. There will be a particular focus on providing a robust curriculum across the kindergartens and primary schools with an um, intervention, uh, uh, intention to enhance the Mandarin provision across all schools. Sorry, I'll just have a sip of water. Thank you. So, I really sincerely look forward to meeting everybody, all parents and all staff in person and getting to know you, knowing you and your child in August. Yes, and as always, thank you very much for this opportunity. Take care and stay very safe in these circumstances. With that little introduction, I hand myself over to Holly. Thank you very much, Holly, once again. Thank you, Priya, and really sorry to hear you losing your voice there. Um, it does happen. Um, Priya has been in teaching all week, so her voice is probably a bit exhausted. So we do have to look after those. Um, but thank you very much um, to everybody for your attendance today. And we hope you enjoyed finding out more about our schools here at Discovery Mind. So um, on that, we will end the um, webinar for today and look forward to seeing you in the future as part of our family. Thank you.
Thank you.